What's up guys, it's Mike with Shallow Reef and coming back at you with another video and today I'm going to be quarantining some fish. So as you can see, my first fish are going to be blue eye cardinals because I currently have one in the main display. I asked for eight at the fish store and for some reason he was only able to get in three because that's how many they shipped him in. So the first thing is, you can only see two of them, the other one's on the other side. I have the filter sponge going, I got my little Brightwell, um, uh, actually marine pure sphere in there and I have ample places for them to hide around the tank sorry for the glare this is a JBJ 24 gallon you can check out that video on how I made this it's just a temporary tank and I pretty much have it right next to my main display now one of the things you gotta look out for is any type of cross contamination from your quarantine tank to your main display but as you can see with the JBJ, this is the one that even the back compartment, yes, there we go, even the back compartment is um, closed off. So no matter what, uh, hopefully no matter what, I'm not gonna cross contaminate anything. Plus, I'm gonna be running copper in this. So I've currently had these guys for three days now. I got them on Friday, day, Sunday, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and they did eat a little bit. So my main thing was to get them to eat. So now that they have started eating, I feel a little bit more confident in being able to uh, start off on a light copper. Now for uh, Coopermine, they say you can do the full dose all at once. I'm gonna split the dose up over two days. So I'm going to dose it uh, Monday, and then I'm gonna dose it on Tuesday and build up the copper in the tank slowly. And I'm gonna estimate that there's 23-ish gallons in here, 20-ish gallons in here and then just work my way from there. All right guys, so I know what you're thinking. How are the fish doing in quarantine? So, let's see, today is the day after Thanksgiving, so it's Black Friday. And as you can see, or not see, all three of them are there. I know there's reflection. So, I have about eh, a week left until they are out of quarantine. However, uh oh. What did I do? Oh my God, I bought more fish. Right, so I did like a timeline and figured out like where these fish would be at in the timeline for quarantine and whatnot. And I realized that my wife and I are gonna be gone for a little bit during like the Christmas break. And I didn't wanna leave the fish kind of like alone, the, this new batch of fish alone over the break. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just throw the new fish in with the old fish and just start my timer over and go for a month. So now I have six of these blue streak or blue eye cardinals plus another three in here, which is nine, plus my one in here, 10. So I'd have an even 10 and hopefully they school. The whole point of them is to school. I know what you're thinking, Mike, why don't you just put the three fish in? Well, the three fish have only been in for 20 days in copper, yes, about 20 days in copper, which isn't quite the three to four weeks I was aiming for. And I don't really feel like risking it over three cardinal fish. So you guys are gonna be stuck in that quarantine tank for another 30 days. So 50 days in quarantine for those fish, that's a lot. But granted, the timer's starting over. So I'll see you guys in like, hmm, let's go two weeks from now and then we'll do an update. I'm down to eight in here, I had nine, but they really seem to like mysis and brine shrimp mixed together, and they love it when Cellcon is put on it. So these guys, they may not be eating those, uh, you know, the New Life Spectrum foods or any of the pellets, but I think they're doing really well with this. Now the problem is I'm going to need to get them um, kind of ready for the pellet food because I will be going uh, away from the house for a couple days for um, Christmas as most people are. And the fish seem to really like it when you turn the flow off and, let, and feed them, but then you kick it back up and then they'll start feeding again. It's kind of interesting. Not sure what's up with these guys, but they're pretty cool. You'll see them go crazy over all this. And yes, I do feed heavy because I do a 50% water change every week and haven't had any spikes in nitrates They're around 10 right now and the cop or in the copper level still staying around 0.35 so no big deal these th these guys are doing really well i'm pretty happy with them cannot wait to get them into the main display so as you can see i shut down 
quarantine tank and I have started to acclimate them. Not on the ground, I've already done all that because I didn't film it, but I put them over in a little breeder box. So I'm going to be socially acclimating them in the breeder box for probably a day then I'm going to dump them into the tank. I know I should be using acrylic, but you know, I only got this. So we're just going to keep them in here, let them be content in their small box for like the remainder of the day. Then at night I'm going to release them into the tank to find their homes. And I found a use for that, <laughs> the max float that I'm never going to use because it just doesn't even work. It's just to hold the breeder box up here. So. I will be back at you in a little bit. Hopefully these guys all do well. And yes, if you saw the thumbnail, I lost one at the beginning. So I had nine in quarantine. One of these little cardinals died in quarantine and one of them literally died last night before I moved him in over here. So pretty much is just due to attrition. Two of them were not eating very well. I was kind of worried about the one and I kind of was guessing that he would be the one to go because he was kind of swimming on his side, he was really thin, sunken belly, but everyone else looks really healthy. They've been in copper for 21 days now, 22 days now. So everything should be good. They've been healthy. Well, they've been in copper for much longer, but the second batch came in and they've been in for 22 days. The first batch has been in for like a month and a half. And then when they were at the fish store, they were also in copper for uh, seven or 10 days. So been in copper for a long time. I feel that they are good to go. All right, so now it's time to release the fish into the tank and see how they do. They've been socially acclimated for a day, almost a full day. And there they go. Wow, those look awesome. Dory's coming in, check them out. Oh my God, that's beautiful how they just school together. Like, look at that, look at that. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted a schooling pair of fish. Dory's like, stay away from my territory. Oh, perfect. These guys are awesome. Well, that turned out really well. What do you think, Daniel? Yes, yeah, you love the fish. All right. So guys, I have successfully acclimated seven out of the nine fish. Two of them died in acclimation. The one died last night. One died like a weekend uh, once I got the second, uh, well, second group of fish. So no surprise that one of them passed because I had one swimming on its side, which was just not, not conducive to uh, to being a good healthy fish. I tried fattening them up. I put some Celcon with my food, trying to get them to eat like crazy, been overfeeding them. And I think it worked out really well for some of the fish. These cardinal fish tend to need to be eaten twice a day or once at an extremely heavy feed. I would prefer to do twice a day and sometimes I do twice a day, but obviously during the work week, it's hard to feed them twice a day. So I'm gonna feed the fish and see how it goes. And please Maria, that clownfish, do not attack them. Hopefully they find my other uh, cardinal on the other side of the tank. You can kind of see them in the back corner. But until then, let's get to feeding the fish and I will see you guys next time. And then I'll tell you what, my next pair of fish or my next group of fish are gonna be for my wife. Can I pan over to my wife? Is she gonna wanna be seen? No, she doesn't, but whatever. She picked out the next pair and I'll keep that a surprise until they're in quarantine. But they will be pretty and they will be a schooling fish. So I decided to go a little bit overkill on the fish food. And as you can see, the Cardinals are actually eating or attempting to eat. They're kind of like floating around. They really like the mice, but I'm trying to get them to do more pellets. So I'm trying to really load them up right now before we go on a little like four or five day vacation for Christmas and get them nice and fat and healthy. That way they'll be able to sustain themselves off of some pellets. So guys, that's all I got for you this time. I will catch you later with some new fish. See ya.